Welcome to the Warren Finance Committee for March 14th. Um, the first thing on the agenda is the salute to flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 As soon as everybody's set. I couldn't get my fucking work. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of February 28th, 2022. Is there a second? I'll second it. Second. Um, any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? There won't be any votes tonight. Um, it's just going to be a conversation, so we don't need to um, designate an alternate as a voting member because we're not voting on anything. All this is just to get information from the road commissioners. Um, the first thing on the agenda is the conversation that Leslie had brought up uh, about talking to her before the meeting. Um, we'll have the, that discussion at a later meeting when uh, appropriate people are here to talk to us about it. So, not that you guys aren't appropriate, but we <laughs> okay. want to talk to you guys about the road stuff. So, with that being said, uh, we're going to do District 1 first. If everybody looks in their book under public safety, the first thing in there is you have the transfer station. Public safety or public works? Public works, I'm sorry. Uh, Page. Those are the first two pages go to the transfer station, which originally we were going to do tonight, but uh, <coughs> talking to the town administrator, we're probably going to do that at our meeting in uh, April on the board of slot here. Okay. Right. Well, we have... Um, <coughs> We have the sheet here, Will, that you yeah. had passed in. Yeah. Um, everybody has that, the summer time budget, the pavement budget, Hawk Road, West Shore Drive, shoulders for new pavement. Uh, $10,000 increase in the winter time budget. Town Hall parking lots in there. Uh, before we get into the Town Hall parking lot uh, conversations that Will had with the last, I think it was the last slot in this meeting, that we're not going to really have any information on that and, and told uh, there's a plan that the slot in going to come up with a uh, will uh, combination uh, so we won't be talking about any of that stuff at this point again that will probably be uh, when we meet with the board of selectmen so with that being said well is there something you want to say or do you want them just jump right in asking you questions whatever you can ask questions if you want <clears throat> if anybody's got any. Well, I guess for the public, uh, I'll read what you presented, Will. Yeah. Uh, summertime budget, $25,000 increase. Equipment rate increase. 
pay for help and road commissioners, and I, sh I assume there should be an increase with that, well, uh, and more work to be, be done on the roads. Um, what does that mean, more work, just in general, more work to be done on the roads? I, 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 yeah, I think my is, read, uh, it, 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 is, is what I'll do is I'll read this whole thing and then we'll start at the top gotcha. and ask questions as we get down through it. Uh, paving budget increased by 50000 more mileage to be paved, all equipment rates increased by 3 to $5, labor rate $22, road commissioner rate $40, paving for 2022, 8th Road, Lakeside Drive to Hot Top, uh, to New Hot Top, I apologize. No, it's not from the Hot Top to Lakeside Drive. Okay. Um, Reclaim 5,420 feet. Price is 30,352. Base is 122,419.73. Surface is 103,291.65. Curbing is 21,235. A total of 246,976.73. Now, just one thing, guys. Those are just those are just all budget numbers. You know, those aren't like. Actuals. They gave us like numbers, but no, no. those are. I mean that that. I appreciate that. that going to change. I appreciate that. You no, know, going out to bid the hot top. Yeah. No, I just want to. Especially the price of it. price of fuel. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Park Road is two replaced two culverts, tear road up, uh, grade and repave. Uh, Fourteen thousand one ninety three thirty, and plus the shoulder work. West Shore Drive, Shimon Overlay, Big Culvert to Willow Street, paving 104,836.68. One culvert replacement in shoulder work. And shoulders for new pavement, price at town rate, $2,528 a day without gravel. And $10,000 uh, increase in the winter budget. Yeah. Now that with the uh, shoulders there, that was uh, last year. I, nobody knew we rented a shoulder machine there. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, we, we did it ourselves, and I mean we, I mean, they worked pretty good. I mean, yeah. I mean, the first day was interesting. You know, just getting ready to run the machine. Of course. A little learning curve. I think also. I think I don't remember the formula they used to push those up. But I think it was there was a savings there once we got going running the machine. You know. Yeah. And uh, time we have a savings uh, instead of having a, a payment company to put the shoulder yeah. out. So we did save a little bit of money. Yeah. The more you use it, the, the more we'll continue to save on that going forward. Oh, absolutely. Oh, sure, yeah. By the end of it, I we, we all had to go do something. I was running my skid steer and the road widener myself in the skid steer before I was walking next to it. It's better if you have a second person outside. Sure. But sure. Will was busy, so I was doing it myself, and we were trucking right along that That's day. That's awesome. Do you guys have any idea of uh, what the cost per foot was to do that yourself? I realize it it went faster in the end and still in the beginning, but once you guys get the handle on uh, how much how much mileage you are doing, you must be some uh, record of a dollar amount what it cost per foot for that. I assume that's with. I don't know this, I'm asking you guys. I'm assuming that if I was doing the job and I called F.R. Carroll, and if they were gonna do shoulders, they'd give me a price per foot for doing the shoulders. Is that true? Uh, do you remember what it was? I don't know. I, I can't remember. I really, I can't, really can't remember. Yeah. I wanna say it could have been. I it was expensive. Um, but they, they would give you a price per foot, I yes. guess is what I'm saying. And it'd be nice before we vote on this budget if and I'm not against at all what you guys are doing I'm just saying there, there should be a dollar amount so that you can defend so you want a dollar amount from like would it be for them to do it and for us to do it well that'd be great if you want to do both but at least you guys yeah so that gives you like a pretty good idea yep, yep. That's fine. Yeah. just so that you don't have somebody 
saying, well, I talked to whoever, and they said, this is absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. If you guys have a, a comparison, I, I think it would be easy to do what you want to do with the town meeting. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? No, I know that's, that's more than fair. Now I'm going to stop talking because other people have to. <laughs> the $25,000 increase. See, I lied already. I already said something. The $25,000 increase in the summer budget. Anybody have any questions about that? What is it? What, what, what was your, um, your summer budget for la from last year? Uh, uh, summertime. Um, yeah, yeah, no, she's there when one of them comes out. Uh, what one of them? What the? Well, this summer. Total summer, 40. Was it 92? Uh, yeah, 92. Yeah, 92. 92, yep. 92, 917. All right, then plus 25,000? Yeah. Okay. That's both sides? Or is that just no. Each yeah, side. No. Each side. Both sides. Yeah. So what was it last year? 92. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nine two nine one seven. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nine I have one a seven. Question. Go ahead. Just from my understanding, what, the price per foot that you're going to come up with in a comparison to someone else uh, is that for the shoulder work? Yeah, that's important. I have to repay to put the new shoulders out. Okay. So that and, and that's where you guys save money for the town when you yes. yourselves. Yeah. So that comparison would prove that, obviously. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking at 117, 917 this year. Right. Any questions on that? That $25,000 increase? No. I just wanted to ask him about something else. That $25,000 has nothing to do with these lower numbers down here, right? That are road specific, like Hawk Road and right. Right. Oh, that's like the that's budget, budget separate. for just regular maintenance. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you'll use that money there to do you know your work mm -hmm. prep for paving, but that's all together budget. This number has stayed the same for quite a while, I think. It hasn't changed much, has it, David? The summer maintenance has. Yeah, yeah, it's gone up a little bit. Um, we were down. I think at one point we were over eighty thousand dollars. Yeah. I think it's more than that when it started uh, years and years ago. It, it's crept up gradually over the years. Yeah. My, my first thought when we brought this up was no. uh, the number was 75000 before I looked at it, so yeah. <laughs> and so it was ninety two. Hmm? I don't think so, but that's a very good question. I think the first year was $60,000. Yeah. These budgets have gone the right way for quite a while, finally. I mean, we're looking at, you I get the increases of these, uh, the summertime, wintertime, the stockpile, and the, uh, the paving. The paving, when I started, it was none. And then it went up. And we got, I think, when I, when I was done, it was 90000 Right. The first side, 180 for the bowl. Right. And now we've, um, we've got the budget. With, if we use these numbers, we'll get a half million dollars. Yeah. That's a. It would have been nice when I had that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I guess with that being said that uh, I've gotten more generous in my old age David I said I've gotten more generous in my old age <laughs> um, the equipment rate increase and that personally it really caught my eye um, well, before we jump to those, does anybody have any more? Oh, I'm sorry, does anybody have anything about the, uh, the summer time? Yeah, I, I just want, can you just run through your... Well, we haven't got down to the payment yet. I've just gone down through the list as we oh, had okay. it. Oh, no, that's, well, oh, that's fine, that's fine. I get confused easy. Yeah, Joe's so, got a question. That's why I have to keep everything in order. Yeah, no, that's fine. Can you run us through the 2022 uh, appropriation for the H Road uh, 
the work that's done from the orchard down to the dump? Yeah, we're going to get to that, Joe, oh, once we get down there. Uh, yeah, we'll the next thing we're going to talk about is the rates. Um, and people look in their rates in their book. Um, most of them. For hour? Mo sorry. Yeah. Yes. Most of them have increased uh, by five dollars. Um, so, are we looking? The forty is with the increase? What, no, we actually. See, that is the increase that they've at, they're asking for. Okay, so then current that means that currently they're at thirty five. Thirty. Thirty. Well, maybe that's a yeah, rate is that's thirty. A, that's a typo, There was a goof up in the print in the the initial print of it. I guess that must be a typo. It was a typo. It should, it should yes. be plus ten then. Yes, it's thirty plus yeah. ten. Okay. So can I can I clarify that? So all equipment rates increased by three to five dollars. Labor rate is separate twenty two. Road commissioners rate is separate forty. That's your labor rate, right? Is yeah, that what I'm looking the at? The labor rate would be like for people that work, you know, work for us, and yep. then, then we get paid as the road commissioners. Okay. So if you know what I'm, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is my first time looking at. at this. I'm Hold on. on so yeah. let, for let's, month, so. let's go back to the printer error or whatever that error is. So you were paid thirty. Yes. Yeah. And you are increasing it by ten. We we're asking for that. Yes. Well, that's what on this paper. Yes. So this plus five should be ten. Ten. It's ten. Right. Thirty-ten. Yeah. Yes. We we're asking for a ten dollar increase. Okay. And is that all the way down the line? No. Just the just our minor wills wage. Okay. And the rest of it. Has a the ones that are highlighted. I don't know if you have the same paper we do. Yep. It's highlighted. It's the ones that we're asking for an increase on. Not every piece of equipment, but right. majority of them. The laborer, yes, would be an increase of four dollars. Four dollars, correct. Uh, so you don't have yeah, no, that's, that's which the state. what it does this for dollar okay. an hour increase. It allows the road commission for what the labor rate was was eighteen dollars, obviously. And if the and I'll use Will because we're talking about his budget. Yeah, that, that's, that's if he was but if he hired somebody for eighteen dollars an hour, which is what the town reimburses him, uh, with the with the benefits that Will has to pay Social Security, Women's Comp, and all that. Um, at that rate, it was costing Will money out of his business to have an eighteen dollar an hour employee. So I believe that's why you wanted that increase to cover that cost. Yeah, that, I mean, I don't. Well, then it's up to you guys what you pay them. I mean, go ahead. Um, but the reimbursement of the town, I, I believe that was a rationale for that difference, if I understood everything right. Um, as usual, I lose my way here. <laughs> How somebody can not move and lose their way is so beyond me. We're all in our. Mm -hmm. I didn't go anywhere. Here it is. Um, the next thing is paving budget increased by fifty thousand um, dollars. So is that all, is that the only thing you wanted? You were going off equipment. Right. So you what, did, we didn't finish that, did we? Will. No, it's Thank you. That's why you need young minds to keep the old minds in line. Thank you. And do you want to go down? No, we'll, no, we'll do the equipment. Um, well, we're looking. I'm sorry. We're looking at the state rate. We had it asked for a state rate, which is uh, supervisor. I'm looking at thirty-four sixteen plus fifteen percent. Yeah, the thirty-four sixteen. That'd be that's what Shackley's paying. Yeah, what I did well oh. was I got uh, somebody uh, asked me about what they were paying in Shapley. Right. So I had Michelle print out some things to see so everybody could look at them and see the comparison. Comparable, you know, what, how did, what is the plus 15? What does that represent? That's 15 percent, whatever that rate is, and then they add 15 percent onto that. Right, but how did they come up with that? That's that's. 
when they've done state rate plus, that 15%, I believe it's been like that for years and years. So it's used to okay. it. Yeah, we used to. You did it for uh, what, one year or two years? Well, we did it for a lot of years, then we stopped doing it, and then we did it again, and then... Yeah, well, that still doesn't forth. answer the question of how did they come up with 15%. That was the question, not how okay. long... There, there was a, okay, there's a general practice, is that's what you did. Okay. In, in municipalities, it was 15% above and beyond what the state was paying. Right. So, is it acting to something comparable to that? So, that it's, thir it's 30 plus the 15%? No, if you look at the rates rate that they're paying right now, what they're asking for, and if you look at their, what the rate would be there, yeah, you want this one? Do you have oh, I have the shaft one. one. I think I, I got the same one you have. Shaft yeah. one? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, wait, you, you want, so you, you're asking if we get the 15% on top of the 30? Right. No, we don't. That's, that's a set, at 30 bucks an hour, so we get paid right We just have a set thing right set now. Price. I guess I need to explain a little bit this because there's so many new members. Um, I think it was two years ago, the slotman changed these rates when we got a, when we, excuse me, did away with uh, municipal employees. The only employees we have now are the two road commissioners. When, for example, they used to pay, say, $22 an hour for an equipment operator uh, when they were town employees, this is what we were paying. So what the board did was they added the cost for benefits like Social Security, Women's Comp, and all that, uh, onto that $22 an hour, which was roughly around $5 an hour, it brought the, around 27, a little bit more than $27 an hour for the operator. And they changed the rates to include the operator. So you weren't just paying the rate for the piece of equipment, you're also paying the rate with an operator operating it. And that's why, if you move back a couple of years, that's why the rates for the equipment made such a jump, was because they added the operator into that. Yeah, I think it was like, was it, I think it went up by like 27. Something, something, some change. No one. I think so. Okay, so you remember I understand. So then the, 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 you're asking 40, and that's inclusive of all the benefits? No, the road commissioners are different because they're town employees. Right, well, so, I mean, we... And the other people aren't. So right now we're paying them $30 an hour. And we pay the workman's comp, we pay the unemployment, we pay Social Security and right. stuff so like that. so I guess that's what I'm trying to so see, the, what the total cost, so the, what's costing the town for their wages, the social, the disability, and all that. What is that cost? Well, that's what I was just saying, Ray. The added cost was around $5 an hour. It'd be about $47 an hour if we cut it $40 an hour. That's what the town would pay. Yep. With what they're asking, it'll be like forty-seven. Yeah, you, you got to figure usually between five and six dollars. As your as your wage increases, your taxes increase. Right. What you pay in. So if you're making twenty dollars an hour, you figure four fifty an hour would be what the town would be paying mm -hmm. in uh, in tax and social security and like and all that. So you double that forty to your five, five six dollars an hour, close to seven probably. That's what the town will be picking up on the back part of that. Right, but, I mean, but that, don't you think that that should be, to me, it, it's part of inclusive of everything that is going on. Because um, one way or another, it still comes out of the taxpayer's money of uh, all that's being paid. And that is in the budget. It might not be in this particular line. But when we get into the municipal part of it, that is laid out right. Okay. I have a question. They would, and this is this is general. This is, uh, probably may, may not have anything to do with the um, road commissioners. But when we when we pay somebody and we um, give the benefits, isn't that part of their their um, compensation? 
Well, so wouldn't it? I'm shouldn't probably it be? not using the right word benefits because. I mean, the law is very clear. You got to pay. Well, you know, you, you, you have to pay. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I so, mean, <laughs> how, you know, half of the FICA comes from the employee. Half of it comes from the employer. Mm -hmm. uh, Social Security taxes. Um, yeah. Unemployment. Unemploy well, well unemp unemployment actually is on the is not uh, an employee. E employee paid covered. Right. Covered. The, the the employer pays unemployment, not the right. employee. No, that's what I'm saying. Um, but I mean like health care and all of that, I mean, that's all That's all part of a compensation package. But they don't get health care. Well, I understand that. I'm just saying, that I'm, I'm throwing this out there because I've never understood why it's it, it's not all included in, in, um, in, in their compensation. Yeah. Like I said, this may not pertain to the road commissioners, but it's a it's something that, that I have never understood, you know, in, in looking at these budgets in prior years. That well, in, in the, sure, ahead. yeah. It's so the problem is, is so if we had I think I know where you're going with that, so say if you have a thirty dollar an hour person, you, you want the the social security, everything added in so we know what we're actually looking for. Right. Basic yeah, and I think that's what so Ray's you, getting at too. You do that to a point, but the problem is is say Adam's got five kids, his tax what we pull out of tax and stuff is different. There's a lot of different stuff, so you Plus we're everybody will get the same exact And that's not rate. typically included in any job you look at, right? Right. If Plus you go somewhere we don't and ask for 40 bucks an hour, they don't, they don't say, oh, well, really, you're going to get 47 because right. we're including all this stuff. I think that's very normal. Right. Well, don't, actually, well. And out of your paycheck yeah. that you contribute towards FICA and all this stuff right. as an right. employee. Yeah. Right, but your hourly rate is looked at as right. your it hourly comes rate. out of that, and then, you know, the, the employer has to pay half Social Security mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, insurance if you get it but mm -hmm. yeah, taxes are from your uh, whatever your wage is at right. Right. a normal the job. Each individual when you do payroll their, their numbers will change mm -hmm. how much you're taking on the no, I, I, by hours it works so do that. So by putting this in here, it, it's not a dummy number, but it's the number that we base that on. Okay. Uh, there's a separate line and we pull out of paying that stuff out. So that, well, that's yeah, that's that's it. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll have we'll have conversations about this, so you know, later on, because I understand that they don't get um, if they don't get health benefits. Well, they can. Well, if they work, they average so many hours. You get ten ninety. Okay. Buying the balls. It's the old-fashioned saying: I make forty dollars an hour. I work forty hours a week. I should have. Um, Sixteen hundred dollars. Uh, who the hell is this guy FICA, and why did he take all this money from me? Because you know you only got twelve hundred dollars coming in, yeah. or the, or the four hundred dollars in in uh, insurance premiums you have to pay. Well, but that's your choice. <laughs> that's your choice. Insurance is your choice. Mm -hmm. You may have a wife who or a husband who gets insurance. You that that's a choice. Uh, the insurance, but like but when you choose like that, that said when, when you there are certain things that have to come out, and and that's it. You know, but Joyce, when you choose that, that is part of you're still part of your compensation. Right. Mm -hmm. So I mean that. But I mean, separate that line items. It's it's much not, separate it's, it's line a very item. separate line item. Very separate. It's never considered part of your rate. Exactly. So Dennis made the comment that the, you guys don't get insurance. No. Right. But then. Uh, David has made, if you work X amount of hours and you're able to get insurance, uh, and also with the comment of you have X amount of kids, I mean, there, there's a difference in the aspect of you being insured and you being insured with dependents. I mean, everybody in, in the job market, I can get insurance for $30 just insuring myself, but if I insure my fa uh, myself and one, it's X amount, myself and family, that goes up higher. Correct. So from that aspect of it, then, if, I mean, if you guys work X amount of hours and you guys can get insurance, then how much of that portion are you guys going to be paying versus how much is the town going to be paying? I, I can kind of somewhat end this, Ray, because the road commissioners in this budget 
if you go through the whole year and you take an average um, of what the, the amount of money that we're paying them, the amount of hours they're working, uh, with the amount of money we're allotting the road commissioners, um, and I'm not sure the exact today's numbers for quite a few years, uh, it, it would average 12 to 15 hours a week. And the town has a policy, um, like David spoke about, to 35 hours a week. And if these road commissioners are ever going to be eligible for uh, medical insurance under the budgetary constraints we have now, uh, it is not, it's not going to make it. And if they would make it, then we'd definitely have to do some huge increases in these budgets. Because a lot of these budget numbers, in, in fairness to the road commissioners, are not going in their pocket as a road commissioner. No, I understand. You know what I mean? I guess, uh, my, my whole controversy is all we're looking at is what they're asking for. We're not seeing what they're getting. Okay, so it's not what they were, what they were paid in 2021. It's just what they want in or 22, 23 right. type of situation. So it's really difficult to make some type of comparison as far as uh, what we're looking. I mean, we just found out that that's a typo, forty dollars. Right. So then, I mean, if we're just looking at the paper that we get, it's forty plus five, so it's forty five. And so this is where things are. That, that was a mistake, right? Confusing. And the, the, these budget requests, and you're going to see these as we go through all of them, is any department in town, uh, if they feel free to ask for what they believe they need, it doesn't mean that they're going to get what they believe they need. So, but, so, Ray, just so, just, so you wanted like a number of like what I made last year? Is that what yeah, you're so yeah, we can have a comparison. Yeah, but I mean, I, I mean, I guess that goes back to Dennis. I mean, it could be last well, year I could have made four thousand dollars. I could have made twenty thousand dollars a time. You know, it all depends how much. You know, I mean. Yeah, but that breaks down per hour, right? Because this is what you're asking for at that per hour rate. Right. So now we know how to read this sheet that shows proposed wages. We know that on the left side is what they're proposing for. And if we just subtract the number on the right, that's what it was for 2021. Right. So if you look at oh, there's an error. labor with no equipment, it's 22 It's twenty-two bucks an hour. We know that last year it was, it 18. was 18 bucks an hour. The only error was the top one. There you go. Exactly. That's Fixed. it. Correct. Exactly. That's the only that's one the only was the error. error was the top one. Yeah. The rest of it is yeah. consistent. So now there's no confusion. Right. That's exactly right. Right. Here we go. Understand, right? Mm -hmm. uh, David, can I ask you one question, too? Just clarification again. When it does come to insurance, if somebody is eligible for it, the town pays a percentage of it. And you haven't come up with that yet, if I understand correctly. We're, we're, yeah, we're looking at the program. Right. So, yeah. typically, all is like if you're so many hours, it's pretty expensive. Oh yeah, I, 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 I was at that meeting, I heard that, but I mean, uh, you pick plan A and you offer it to the eligible employees. And what we're looking at right now is three plans. Yeah, but let's just say, hypothetically, you picked plan A. Yeah. And, you, and your you know, dentist works for you for 40 hours a week. So you offer it to him, and he says, fine, I'll take it, you know, for me and my wife. And you say, okay, the town pays 25%, and you pay 75 or 40 and 60 or 50-50. It, it's not 100% employee paid, is it? No, it, it was at one time. At uh, one time, uh, the Royal Commission has actually got 100% coverage. Uh, and it was lot of too. Really? Yeah, I can find out that uh, the London officials can't get health insurance. So, um, we're kind of up to that. But, uh, I mean, right now, I don't, with the wages right now that we're, we're talking about here, um, I don't believe really these guys are worried about the uh, benefits at this point. Right, right. Just yeah. Worried about the uh, other aspects of it. Okay, thank you. Is there any questions, other questions on the rates? Nope. 
I, w I would just, is there anybody? I have a question Go ahead. at the bottom. Before I say anything. In the event that the road commissioner is the operator of the equipment, a deduction of 3101 will be taken from the equipment rate listed. Yes. We were 2701 originally, so if the equipment goes up $5, okay, our, that's, that's our fine. deduction would be no, I, brought I, up $5. That's not my question. That's not where I'm going. You're the road commissioner. You or whoever it is, is the road commissioner. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you, somebody's out sick, one of your guys, and you jump in another, in a piece of equipment to continue to do the job, whatever it is. Aren't you still the road commissioner? Yes. Yeah, but you're not paying any another person to operate that Correct. equipment. Correct. Right? Yeah, well, the thing is, these rates are, are geared towards um, labor rates, the laborer rates, operator's rates, which is different price than what the road commissions are. Okay. So that's why they deducted the 2701. If you have a piece of equipment here for $100 an hour, that piece of equipment is already being added in as an operator included. So if you did, if you did pull the 31, 301 out, you'd actually be paying an operator twice. Gotcha. Okay. Very good. Thanks. Okay. Easy. All right. But comparison, comparing some of these rates that you guys are asking for, like I said, they were adjusted a couple of years ago, and <coughs> you compare them to Shapley's, um, some of these rates are pretty high that you guys are asking for. Which ones do you Compared to the state rate. Uh, uh, in particular, well, um, I guess the four cubic yard truck is, am I looking at that correctly? Shapley's 2195 plus 15 is 2524 and you're asking for 6601? Plus, plus an operator. I would assume that'd be 25 plus their operator. Well, the Shapley are no operators. No gotcha. operator. Okay. Okay. So that, that makes a big difference in what we're looking at. So that would bring it up to 3059 and change. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay, I'll just go to the 12 yard truck. Shaft is band 5036. Plus an operator. So it'd be 84. Well, you don't know what. If Shapley's labor rate is 30, well, actually, I don't know. That's a road commission, a supervisor rate. Well, the operator for Shapley is 24.9. 24. Plus 15 is 2864. Right. So a 12 cubic yard truck is 5036 plus 2864. Yeah. Which makes it. What? She's doing the math. Yes. Margarita's got her calculator. And then a 12 is 5389. You're looking at 8253 and you're asking for 8601. Yeah. It's in well, the I'm saying that's almost a whole increase. That they're asking for. Oh, that's that's with the five dollars. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying. So if we took it out for so this past like year, minus five is seventy-seven fifty-three. It's four dollars an hour more in, uh, here than it would be in Shapley. I guess is my point. Gotcha. Um, and that's proposed. If we're looking at current, they're paying eighty eighty-four. I said, and we're paying yeah. seventy-seven fifty-three. So we're we're lower. We're lower actually. No. The proposed is a couple it's bucks higher. Four, our, four our, bucks higher. Our current is lower. Can't mess with them. Just for comparison. What's their rate again if they got a 12 yard truck? Operator rate is 2864. With no, I meant with the truck and the and what the truck and the is? operator. 82 something. Okay, wait a minute. 12 cubic yard truck. Yeah. 5036? 5036 plus the operator cost. Cost. Is 10, 8, 64 plus 5036 is 79. Excuse me. So I did my math wrong earlier. Yeah, it's $79. $79. And we're currently 77 and change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're 79 and we're 77 mm -hmm. with an operator. Mm -hmm. 
but their increase is to 86. Yep. So that's why I said it's high, quite right. a bit higher than right. what the band shaft like. Yeah. Um, I guess I would just ask you guys, uh, well, it's not fair to ask Adam yet, but. Uh, well, you can ask both of us to save yeah. some time because we're both on the same page on this. Um, how do you guys come up with these increases? Cost to own an equipment. I mean, just one tire on that 12 yards, probably 1500 bucks for a front tire for a truck like that. Any maintenance on that truck is a lot of money. Well, I guess <coughs> the rates, when the state sends, sets the rates or anybody sets rates, uh, it covers, it's supposed to cover two things. And one is maintenance, mm -hmm. which covers your tires and your oil and whatever breaks. And whatever the life expectancy of the uh, piece of equipment is, uh, part of that rate is for replacement. So that's all figured into the rate. But um, the price of a new truck, like I just priced out a brand new 10-wheeler like his, Freightliner, just looking for to look. Brand new Freightliner plow truck, $335,000 right now. No, I, I appreciate what Price you're saying, Adam. Trucks and equipment's gone through the roof. You're not going to buy a new truck. No. I doubt very much. And work, <laughs> I wouldn't be smart if I bought a new truck, and, but. Not and right now. Work for part time in Acton. No. Uh, unless you can be road commission for the next 60 years. Uh, <laughs> but the you'd cost. You get your money back. Yeah, the cost of trucks. I mean, even buying used trucks is 40, 50 grand. Yeah. It's something you got to do a lot of maintenance on full time. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, Right now, um, the average uh, price of a triathlon is around $100 an hour. Pike industry is paying $125 an hour for a triathlon. Yep. Because of the cost of uh, drivers. Um, when I was working, I used to find a driver $15, $16 an hour. I'm paying $25, yep. $30 an hour. No, I, I appreciate it, but that's a big increase for one year. And unfortunately, everything inflation right now is it just going everybody. Everything's a huge increase. I mean, the increase. surrounding, all the surrounding towns didn't do that. But what the, what the school board committee did, which makes it sometimes easier to understand, is instead of a dollar amount, you put the percentage increase. Because, uh, like, let's say, if it's, it, it, sometimes it looks like when you say, okay, that increase is 8%. Um, instead of a dollar amount that looks like a lot, eight or ten dollars um, an hour, that, that puts it in a whole different perspective. If you see it as a percentage, sometimes like the school did, mm -hmm. it, it just to me it makes it a lot clearer that okay, that's not as ridiculous as it looks, or not as big as it looks. It's only six percent, mm -hmm. and then you go okay, given the, given the cost of things as they are, then, then it it's six percent. It's a six percent raise six on that right? truck. Oh wow, yeah. And, and we know that inflation's only going up, it's not going down. Yep. So it's a 6% on that truck, that particular truck. Yeah. It works out to be 8606, so it's 8601, so it's just, yeah, see that? so 6%. Yeah. yeah. That, the percentages make it easier for a lot of people. It's a much easier really pill to swallow. But on like some of the higher number tr trucks, like the, an excavator, it's only going to be like a 3% raise, mm. you know. That's how the school committee did it, and it, it makes it real obvious. Um, and it's a percentage, I think. And then she gives the total percentage at the bottom of the average of all of them, which is, yeah. Right. Right, because in some cases there, at least, there were reductions in things that they didn't need again, so you wind up seeing what what the mm. increase of the whole budget was overall. Because mm -hmm. you can just add and subtract negative percentages and, and positive ones, mm. as opposed to dollar amounts, which don't mean anything to me, where I'd have to sit here and figure each one out. And, and, but some of these you look and go, wow, plus nine dollars. Wow, that's a lot. But then, okay, what is the There's item? Six point two percent increase on that one. Percent. Actually, no, it would be ten percent mm -hmm. in that case. So you go, okay, that, then you could go, okay, I need to. Why is that going up ten percent? That seems like a big number, right? She's talking about this one. Right? Just an example, yeah, because it was easy math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we like easy math because it was simple. <laughs> but but you, I just I came up with six point two percent increase. Is that about mm -hmm. what you yeah. were saying? Yeah, he said six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let's go to something smaller. 
at the one dollar increase. <laughs> yeah, it's a dollar. No, but you change on how handheld power tools one up four dollars. I mean, it where, doesn't make any you, sense. Where, where, where are those? Well, well, like on. we use oh, uh, gotcha. we use cutoff saws a lot. Yeah. For cutting culverts, I mean, how much is a blade for a cutoff saw? This isn't what it, we're talking about. You said handheld tools. It's chainsaw and handheld power tools. Yeah. Yes, that's a cutoff saw for cutting into the road. Oh, I appreciate what it is, Adam. But you know, like a a blade for that is, I don't know how much is a blade. A good blade. I, $200. Two hundred dollars, and you get only so many cuts out of it. Mm -hmm. You no, never I make your money back on that. But you're getting the same rate for a chainsaw, and how many cuts can you get out of a chain? Mm, depends how many times you hit the ground. Well, that's all in the operator. What I'm saying is you can get all summer out of a chain. Uh, so to use one example of why it's so much, but there's many other power tools that you use that it doesn't cost that type of money for. And that's why I say uh, a $4 increase is an awful lot of money. I mean, there's a compactor, backpack blower, backpack blower is four or five hundred bucks to own it, compactor yeah. is a thousand. Those are all considered under chainsaw and handheld power tools, right? Yes. Correct. So everything anyway, like the chainsaws on the cheaper end, but we also own a lot of stuff that's worth a lot more on that end that we have to use on a regular basis that needs a lot of maintenance. Hey, like what? I don't understand. Well, buy a compactor. It's probably $2,500 to have a compactor. Yeah. Um, the cutoff saw, the I mean, backpack normally, blower, the normally, but so you maintain them. I mean, you maintain them, gas, yeah, everything. And that's all figured into yep what you're getting. I mean, I don't know. I just so you mean so I guess what you're trying to get is like you can't justify that number just to you using it for the town. You think, but you also got to remember that's paying an operator running that. So you're only making three, four dollars an hour off that piece of equipment. Mm. Not paying the whole amount because that's including an operator. So, thirty-seven ninety-nine minus an operator is ten dollars. Is about ten dollars. Ten dollars for the piece of equipment. Yep. And then you had four dollars. That's fourteen dollars an hour for that piece of equipment. That's quite a bit of money. That's pretty high rate. In my opinion. I'm not. Right one. What's that? You can rent one for a lot more an hour. We are renting one. Yeah, you are. But if we rent one, it's going to cost us money. I don't know. You got some data to back that up. I can look up right now. But I don't need it right now, but uh, I'm just saying we are renting all this stuff. Correct. From Indeed. a private company. Yeah, correct. Every Everything that we do. The only yeah. thing that's not private is what we pay the two road commissioners. Correct. And so having comparison rates of different things, and this is a small thing, I admit it's a small thing, but it's part of the whole thing. And it adds up. I think some of these rate increases, and maybe for the, your, your 10 wheeler, um, five dollars an hour is more than justified. Right? Or $10 an hour, you know, I, I don't know. I don't have the data. And I can't say it is or not on my opinion because my opinion doesn't mean anything. So a perfect example, I just looked up because I don't own a sweeper for my skid steer. A week rental on a skid steer rental for my a sweeper was a thousand dollars for the week. But just a sweeper. Just a sweeper. So how are you gonna make that? No, no operator. No, that's just for the attachment that goes on goes front on, of the skid steer, which is fifteen dollars an hour. Right. Well, it was $12 an hour. So you're never going to make your money back, and that's going to cost you money to rent that piece of equipment to sweep the roads in the town. Because I'm either planning on buying buying one for four or $5,000 or renting one for $1,000 for the week. So but some the skid steer will help offset the price of the rental on that with an operator in it, right? me you, running it. you get an extra whatever for Right, for me running it. If I put an operator in it, I'm probably not gonna make any money to sweep the roads. So that's why there's increases on certain things and the stuff that we're trying to justify. You honestly, you don't have to justify them to me. I'm just asking the no, questions. No. The people are the ones that will make the decision. Uh, and 
I just think on some of these things, uh, it's a lot. And some of the things might not be enough. I don't know. But here, here's, a, here's a thought. We've increased the wage of a laborer by $4. A lot of these increases, which include, they include an operator. Wouldn't, wouldn't you be um, deducting that amount? Is that a fair statement from these rates? Deducting an operator from the rate that they're asking for. Right. Yeah. All right. So if you're looking at, just looking at the increases, a lot of them are, you know, if you, if you deduct the, the, the um, operator rate, which we increased by $4, can't you, you know? So you're adding 30, what was it, $31? That would be the operator rate that you guys are getting reimbursed for. Uh, right. Right now it's 27. No, no, I'm saying with this increase. Yes, 31. 31. So, so, so is the operator included? Let's go back to our little chainsaw and power tools. That's yeah, including all the rate, an operator. All the rates, when we, we, when we did the rates like two or three years ago, like that got, like that 2701 number went right into that rate. So whatever it was, okay. increase it by that. Okay, okay, so we got 3799 proposed. Proposed. With the increase. Uh, with the increase. And if we take away 22 bucks for the operator, if we it's take 1599. Away what if we just take away four dollars? We take the operator cost out of that. Fifteen ninety nine. Fifteen ninety nine. With the proposed. With the proposed. Minus four bucks, which is what they're currently paying right. at eleven ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine. To operate that. To operate or, that. Excuse machine. me, not to operate that for the machine. For the machine. Yeah. That doesn't add up in my book. At all. So let's say something. When I work with machine, we were going to state rates, right? And we have these scare tools, and I think we were getting paid at eight bucks an hour and this and that. So I go and buy that. You know those sweepers you use to sweep your lawns off, sweep the intersections and stuff? You go buy one of those, you know, get that for generally on $1,700, right? They're a wearable item, okay? I'd wear all spray lawn and pay that piece of thing off, but it would be worn out. Right. So I'm like, you know what? I am not going to wear my tools out anymore, $14 an hour. So I went down to Taylor Rental, and I went to the mall, and I got their bill, okay? And um, my tools didn't get worn out. I didn't lose no money, and the uh, job got done. <coughs> um, so I, I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to compensate <coughs> for wear and tear and replacement costs. And that's how that's how business people work. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, these guys have it. So luckily, these guys are able to do what they're going to do. Now, I'm not trying to throw anybody anywhere. I'm just saying <clears throat> that some of these rates, I, I believe, are a little high. That's all I'm saying. And, and you're, you're not looking at that necessarily as a percentage increase, but compared to Shapley, for instance, which is the reference we're looking at. Well, if you're going to get, if you're going to get, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use a chainsaw, for example. If you're going to get $10 an hour for a chainsaw, all right, if you're going to lose money, you're gonna get, if you spend $400 for chainsaw, and... If you can't make money on that, then either you bought the wrong chainsaw or something's wrong. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe the, some of the stuff needs to be more detailed instead of having a general rate for something. You know what I mean? It's like like you were just saying that. You go down to Taylor Rental and you want to rent a chainsaw, you pay this. You want to rent a compact, you pay this. You want to, you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And having everything and maybe this is really 
where, where I'm going, I, I'm kind of have a little problem with because everything is one thing. And like you just said, you buy one of those blades to cut the hot top with, it costs a couple hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Uh, but that's also put in there, like I said, with the chainsaw. And there's a big difference. There's a big difference in, in what you're doing with them. There's a big difference in the cost to operate. And I mean, I'm fine with this how it is. I'm just saying maybe down the road, maybe that's something we need to look at. Do you agree with that or no? No, I understand. Makes sense. So that's a long way of me just saying that short thing. We don't expect anything different. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I want to remind everybody again that these are just requests from the road commissioners and uh, we won't say anything final for the Sutman make their decision and they go first uh they i know there was a conversation at the budget workshop uh about your wages being 32.50 or something uh, not the 40 so i guess what i what i what i was trying to do is is get the reasons for things how they are mm -hmm. and not try and make a decision on what we got because we don't know what the decision is going to what's going to be in front of us for the board of selectmen and I, I appreciate and i told both of you guys that when you do your budget you ought to put forward uh, what you think you need and, and uh, let everybody else decide from if they want to give it to you or not and i appreciate the budgets that you guys put forward i'd like to ask a question um on the four, I would just want to bring back to the slot board because uh, Wednesday night we're going to be making some decisions of what we're you know, doing here. And uh, on the $40 an hour, did you guys make any sort of recommendation or are you approve it or disapprove it? I don't disapprove it. Well, no, do you want, you want to take a poll? I mean, we want to take a poll? Well, well, I mean, is, we did have a workshop with them the other day, and we, we, we did go over what, what our concerns were. Right. And we want, we want to make sure that, uh, you know, I don't really think it's what it is, but I didn't hear anything from your board whether or not it was consensus that it was a good idea or a bad idea. All I heard was, I thought it was 40 already. <laughs> <laughs> what what were your concerns though? I we don't know what those were. Well, he was wondering what if the Warren Finance Committee supported the forty dollars an hour. Right, but you said you had concerns about the forty dollars an hour as a selectman. Well, well what we questions. Or? Well, what we already met. We've already met with the, uh, the workshop. Uh, right? We had the workshop there, and and we uh, and I want to talk for I can't want to talk for Paul. Paul doesn't go on the phone. Um, we were there and. Um, because what, what the select board right now, and it's not installed or anything, but we're looking at a 7% increase in wages, and that was part of the wage increase would be at 7% for the uh, Commission, which came to a 3214, or whatever it was here, I got written down, uh, 3210, um, which is $2 less than what Shapley gets, but still $2.10 uh, $2 rate from last year. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I just wanted to be able to go back to the other board and say, hey, mm -hmm. um, you know, do you disapprove of the 40 or approve of it? Because at the end of the day, that's the, that's the number that's being asked for. You can take a strong vote, but we can't bring a vote on Yeah, Margarita, what's your thought? Say if they do what uh, the conversation at the workshop, which brought it up to 32 and some change, do you think it should be there or do you think it should be closer to the 40? And I have to, I have to tell everybody before you give an answer that um, this $30 an hour has been there uh, quite a few years, at least the last three. 2017. What's that? 2017. 2017. Yes. Um, that might make you look at things a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, this wage has been the same, like Adam said, for five years. Mm -hmm. So anyway, what are your thoughts? My opinion is that it should definitely be increased. Um, I think the single jump from 30 to 40 is hard to swallow. 
Um, but I do think it should be increased. You said 7% is only a $2.10 increase. I mean, 7% in general, as a general rate increase, is pretty good when you're looking at a corporate world. You know, you're usually sitting around 3 to 5%. So 7% sounds great, but when it equates to $2.10, when it hasn't been increased in five years, seems very small. I think it should be somewhere between the two, though. Well, this, this represents 33% increase. That's why I was saying percentages give you a much better it, it, Okay, good, yeah. Because especially as an employee, you, you know you're all 3%, 4% a year if you don't screw up too bad. I don't understand I don't understand what you mean, Phil. If it's, well, if it's 7% and gives them a $2.10 raise, where's the 30-something coming from? No, no, what I'm saying yeah. is going from 30 to 40 is it's a 33 33%. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Which, when you're doing a budget, is all that matters. If, you know, okay, here, here's the percentage of increase mm -hmm. each year, and then you justify why is that. Why a lot of this stuff's obvious, cost of materials, fuel, all that crap. What, what we're trying to do as a board, what we talked about, uh, is we're trying to get everybody's wages up to where they belong. Yes, now, to market. The, the road commission right now, I think they raise at 29 something. So they're, they're just a tad over state rate. 29.70. Okay, 29.70, right? Is that so they're just barely okay. kissing so over, right. yeah. With the seven percent raise, we get some over a threshold, mm -hmm. and what we really like to do is get them on the same um, pay scale as everybody townwide. Mm -hmm. Get that three percent, whatever. Yeah. Everybody gets the same thing yeah. instead of making this huge jump at once. Get everybody on the level ball field mm -hmm. and make the increases. So next year they may get three percent next year. Right. Not a seven, but a three. Right. You know, That's with the cost of money. And that, that was my point when, when you t mentioned it, you said 7% at the Selectman workshop, right? And then, and then you know, the fact that this is 33% increase to an employee's hourly wage in this case. Um, and, and that between 7 and 33 is, is a big difference, which is what you're pointing out. Mm -hmm. um, so. Absolutely, there should be an increase, right? Like, don't take it for one second. I don't think you no, deserve 40 no. bucks an hour. Because um, <clears throat> I think you do. I don't want to be out there doing that job. Um, definitely, I think more than 7%. I think 33 is really hard to swallow. So maybe just saying, the townspeople look at, you know, they're going to yes. vote on this. It's not, yes. it's not up to us. Yeah. And we want to make it more palatable it, for them to say, okay, yeah, sure. Right. You don't want to get it knocked down completely yeah. by, I'm just saying between 7 and 33 is, is a, is a yeah. big gap. That, okay. And then you don't wait don't five years to do it again, right? We do it this year. We do. Well, like David said, if we get on a normal thing, yes. everything's good. You know, it's, yeah. we'll work out. Yes. Instead of asking for when, when that thirty dollars an hour came, I was a commissioner for only in my seventh year, eight, uh, from six year, one, so three years with that, and then close from there on to stay. And uh, so, so instead of having them have to ask for that raise every year, mm -hmm. you know, or, or once every five years, you want to regiment like everybody else, the three percent if we can afford it. Yeah, I agree. Joe. I think split the 30 and 40 or 35 for now. Joyce? Um, I have one question first. What would the total increase, what per, uh, total increase in your budget be? Bottom line, what's the percentage over last year? Who labor? You're talking labor? Uh, everything. Everything. Oh, what was your? As a percentage? Well, say is yeah, as a percentage. Say last year your total bill budget was a million bucks. In this year, is it going to be two million? What is the percentage difference between last year and this year? Total, everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Well, they've got different projects. Now, and, and that that doesn't matter. Well, that's part I'm of about the bottom line. I'm Joe. talking about the bottom line. What's the difference? There's always going to be those different projects, Joe. What's the bottom well, line? Well, we have set of budget numbers that we have to go by. Other than the winter, there's a percentage we can go over. Um, our summer numbers, is no matter what, even if we get a raise. Your summer numbers remain, but wh how much more money are you going to be spending? What's the percentage, higher or lower this year than last year? The increase, yeah. like your summer maintenance, you're asking for another 25. Very right. bottom line. And you're paving another 50, <laughs> and that's what she's talking about, your, t your total budget. 
net for next year to this year, what percentage is the increase? Total 2021 budget and total 2022, right? Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that's something we can get for the next meeting. And that's why I was asking to see what it was. Yeah, we, we can get it to fix so we can make it. Because that if, if, if I knew that, you could increase your budget by 25% and still not be terribly different from last year. Mm -hmm. Okay? You, you could have room in your budget to things like that. But without knowing what your bottom lines are, it's hard. So maybe but, just but as a follow-up in an email, they can I get think, that information I think they, to us? they can get yeah, that to us. Yeah, and and I think that, that um, one of the points David made was, uh, we're talking about market price. You, we have to bring you guys up to market price. You know, we're not, you guys decide you're leaving and we get somebody new in and we look at them and we say, oh, we pay $28 an hour. And they say, see you later. Market price is what market price is. And that's where you're going to have to start. And I agree with Marguerite. I think someplace in the middle for next year is a good thing. Without any more, because I don't have all the information I need to make that. Leslie? Um, I, I agree that the amount should be raised. Um, probably significantly. Um, Ten dollars does sound like a lot. Um, I could easily see thirty-five mm -hmm. um, because it would be difficult to replace other of these guys at thirty bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. We it would no. Who would want to do it? Not us. Um, so Ray, I'm in. I'm somewhat in line with. Um, you know, we don't have all the information that's necessary. Even looking at uh, going from the actual number of the thirty dollars that you guys make now, and to pop in the twenty-two and a half percent more, that only gives you six seventy-five more. So that, that brings it up to 36 versus the 40. Uh, but once again, we don't know what the bottom line is overall, so it's hard to make that distinction. And that's why I was asking in the beginning of what's the comparison to last year's budget? Right. What are we looking percentage-wise? Yeah. Yeah. Right, which is what you do each year. Is look at what is a percentage increase, and then and, and if you need to justify a line item, you can ask, okay, this line item, why is that going up 82%? And they can, you know, someone, whoever it is, can give us a good answer or not. Well, right. The, the problem is, and I agree with what you're saying, Phil, everything's percentages, but there's a big difference if you're paying somebody $15 an hour and you find out that. Geez, you can't hire these people anywhere for under 20. And you need these people, so you change the wage to $20 an hour. Uh, that's a 30% increase. Um, but it doesn't, the it's percentage, justified. it doesn't tell the whole story. It's justified in that case. You can question and they go, well, here's why. And that, that and goes I, back to the market And I think that's price. what they're saying. Right. It goes to what is price. the market price? Is it Dave or David? What? David. Dave? We, what is what is the market price for for, for these guys if you're going to use Shapley or well, st I mean, State or we're looking at State rate that's that's a good way to look at the market price. <laughs> uh, but um, no offense, guys, but no offense taken. Commissioner, almost ten years. Bruce Scott was fifteen years, and he was making thirty. These guys started out with what we were making. Yeah, that happens a lot. Yeah. So, so we're saying that the market price is thirty four sixteen, right? Is, that's no, what Chapley's no. paying. That's what Chapley market price is twenty nine seventy right now. We're 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 talking about giving them seven percent. Right. More than what I mean is we're trying to make sure that that they're brought up to the level of their peers in similar places. Which is Chapley is the rate would be they're already they're already on that threshold. Dave, do you truly believe that that's the market price? I do. The state rate is the market you, price? You, you go down and see a uh, supervisor for the state, they're not making $30, $30 an hour. 
they're making money. You know, uh, these, these rates aren't what an actual supervisor for like the guy rides around a little blue truck, goes to check the roads and all that, he's not making thirty dollars at all. Those guys are making twenty, twenty one. But, a, a, no, but I, I guess I'm equating it to um, someone who is actually uh, in charge of public works. Um, and then, yeah. So I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of having a hard time thinking that that twenty nine dollars is a market rate for that kind of responsibility. Okay, I know you guys aren't familiar as familiar as I am with this, but these rates, okay, also include the equipment and everything, whereas somebody is a public works director doesn't get any of those for benefits from that. None of those. They get their wage, that's it. They mm -hmm. get paid, they go home. Right. Uh, these guys are getting paid for their equipment on top of that, everything else. Okay. So what we're trying to do here is trying to make a like, even compromise and try to get to that level rate where we can get on that 3% every year. Mm -hmm. So so they don't have to come and ask for a 33% raise every five years. You're already on schedule. So they're they're making money on uh, other than their salary. Yeah. Okay. You know, you, you're, if you're if you're the, um, you're running the excavator at hundred dollars, hundred nine dollars an hour. Well, that's that's something the public works director don't get to do. And then that's the that's the difference. That's why this job is so much harder to, to budget for because there's only a couple of towns in the area that do this. Really and that's because this equipment is not town equipment, it's, it's their equipment. equipment. Correct. So eventually they're going to have to replace that equipment. That, so they need to charge us 12 bucks for a chainsaw for an hour because in six months or a year, you have to replace that that's, chainsaw. That's the cost of doing business. Right. Correct. I mean, right. That is what it is. Well, exactly. Our, our, the rate that we go by is the state rate. That's what they're saying. The typical public works director, or whatever, would be making. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Not the hazard for the state themselves. So we're already gonna, we're already, on, we're already talking about a seven percent increase in that in a model level wall field. Now the stuff increases every year, just like everybody else in the offices, downstairs, transfer station, town line. So it's more fair to everybody because it really doesn't look good when. You, you start seeing one department asking for a 20% increase in their wages. That department got a 4% increase. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Why one person work more than the other? The end of the day for raises. Unless you start with raises, which if we did merit raises, they wouldn't be making up for the time. So Dennis, but, I, I know you didn't get to me yet on the, No, I was gonna, I'm sorry, Phil. No, that's okay. We'll sidetrack here a little bit. After hearing, hearing everything, and, and I think I understand, He's got to have some something related to, which is in the market price, as it were. Uh, it, that 33% increase seems excessive to me, um, based on the market price, what what that currently is, and going to from from 30 to 40 is a you know a 33% increase, and it brings it well above what we're saying the market price is. Right, if it's thirty four sixteen with the fifteen percent compared to Shapley, which is I guess our reference, right? Yeah. I'm just doing looking at this map. I use Shapley. I use Shapley because, no. I use Shapley because yeah, it's yeah. similar to the town is yes. that was it. Hey to be fair, you when you do a corporate, you shoot for the moon, you land among the stars with your with your prey increase, right? You ask for so much always, money. You always you meet somewhere. You shoot higher than that's you what we did. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Just think In her desk. That, exactly. I just think that's that that in, the percentage increase is not justified when we look at it against the market that's similar, which is Shapley is fifteen percent plus fifteen for for that. What I'm assuming is their peer or would be mm -hmm. um, discounting anything else they make in addition to, um, on their on their equipment, let's say. But that that's that's the good side of the cost of doing business, you know that. You take care of your stuff, you make more profit. If you don't, you're wasting, you know, you're throwing money away. That's up to them. But strictly looking at this as an employee, which is really the only part that applies is their hourly rate as a person, um, it just seems excessive all at once and, and above what we're saying the market would bear right now. That's unless I'm misunderstanding. So. I just went on Mr. Google 
Maine State, and I looked at a lot of public works, deputy directors, directors, be taken into consideration the size of towns. And the average salary, which you guys are gonna be like blown out of the water, would be 82,000 a year. That's yeah, 40 hours a week. And that's a 40 hour a week employee. job. That's an employee, yeah. And, but uh, that is $36 an hour. Right. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. you're, all, right? sorry, that's, what all. that's you got it, mm -hmm. you know, so I don't think we're far apart. I think we just need a little bit more inf information mm -hmm. to yay or nay your ask. And I guess as much as I hate to give my opinion about something, I guess I'm the only one left. Um, I would definitely support uh, a minimum of uh, what was come up with at the workshop and if it ended up being more the something decided to put a little bit higher I'd support that too I don't think I'd support the 40 but <clears throat> once again that's all up to the board of Slutton mm -hmm. and I appreciate the comment of the uh, you ask for everything, though, and hoping you get something. Oh, yeah. Uh, in our desk. Uh, have to. <laughs> I, I appreciate that, and if I was in your position, I'd be doing the same thing. Every career I've ever had, I've always asked for about 20 grand more than I want. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm willing to settle for. Um, sometimes you walk away pretty happy, and sometimes you walk away disappointed, but... Sometimes uh, you walk away. <laughs> the other thing that... I'm going to say this to you guys because I'm going to say it to the slotman, uh, and I know it isn't your choice. Uh, well, you can ask for it, but there's going to be a conversation uh, down the road uh, with the Board of Slotman and the Treasurer about monies that we might be spending above and beyond the regular operating budget next year. And I said to David uh, a couple of weeks ago um, that I wouldn't be opposed at all to adding $100,000 more uh, to each one of your budgets uh, for paving. Uh, that's my perspective. But we don't know the actual dollar amount yet. So it might be $10,000 to each budget if it isn't as much money as I think. But um, just so you know, that's where I'm coming from. And I appreciate all the work you guys did here. And I appreciate you having our little debates. And uh, hopefully you only have to come in front of us one more time. <laughs> That's the night we vote on your budget. Yep. Next month. Next month. Does anybody else have anything? Would you care if I put this into a spreadsheet with percentages? Nope. You can do it too. We wouldn't be offended? No. Okay. Would you write a question? Oh, I just see. I, see I, 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 will, I will say yeah, wait. when the town gives us the official, the Board of Stopman give us the official warrant. Normally, Michelle does that in her presentation, the information she gives us. I'm not saying that you, because usually what Michelle would do, would put like the last two years, uh, what was appropriated in this year. So you used to have a three year uh, fee to look at. Uh, I'm not saying you can't do it, Margarita, feel free. Uh, but we're getting close to when Michelle will be giving us that information. Uh, but you guys can do whatever, if you better if you want. I think you guys can go. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Phil. You guys speak up so everybody can hear you, Phil. I'm just looking at what looks like good news since I live on Basel Road. You know? <laughs> 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 you're afraid you're going to prep for a paving. For the year after. You know, I'm going to start pulling the piece down in the beginning. Because the road jogs out a lot. There's one shoulder right between actually where I live and the old schoolhouse. Yeah. So there's a couple big trees that need to be taken down. I would like to get a shoulder in there and get start prepping, do some ditch work there, and start prepping for Buffalo Road. That's good news. Talking about paving, Adam. Yes. 
You made the comment at the budget workshop with the selectmen that you really didn't want to do, not that you didn't want to you do whatever you did, but uh, you'd like to be able to do a road and finish it rather than piecemeal it. Would be nice. <laughs> so with that being said, why isn't finishing the sandboard road on your radar this year? I think it's in fairly good shape. I have roads that are in such disrepair. Have you hit that pothole down the bottom of the hill? There's no pothole. It's they're free, in today. They're freeze out. <laughs> <Not today. laughs> Holy smoke. <laughs> I met a car there the other day. That, that thing, boy, I thought the devil was going to lose my front end. Yep, no, I took care of it today. Is it unusual that you get to pave an entire road front to back? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. unless it's a small road. Like I did Riverview last year. Okay. It's a short road. I was able to afford to do just a shim and overlay on it. We okay. did Langley but, Shores, yeah, Shores yeah. Yeah. last year. That, the short roads you can do, like county. Is that because of cost? Cost. Like okay. County Road needs to be ground the whole way. Um, it's probably to do a third of it is in my budget, and I think it's a little over hundred thousand dollars. So it's going to be close to four hundred thousand dollars to do that road alone. Okay. So you have to do it each year because of your budget. Because you also got to pick all your other roads. I have Buzzle Road. I have Peck. I got Orchard. You know, I had to go to Peck and deal with a ice problem this year. And every time I put the bucket down on the pavement, it was falling. It was just coming right up. Just to scrape ice. I mean, that road is just, and Buzzle's the same, and Young's Ridge is the same. I mean, all these roads are just getting to the age they really need some addressing. Sure. You know, you drive down Peacock, and there's ruts like this in the pavement. Mm -hmm. You know, Point Road, you know, those are the roads on my budget I want to get done. So I want to start pecking away at the small roads that I can get completed, and then start the bigger roads and get a section at a time. Like Will works on the H Road. That's a very long road. Oh my gosh. I used oh. to live on H Road. It was, yeah, piecemeal. Yeah, unfortunately, that's all you can do. Right. I mean, is it, what is it, six miles? Six and a half miles? Seven miles. Seven miles, yeah. It's a big one. So I'm like, to go back to my question, why wouldn't you finish the Sandburn Road this year so you don't have to deal with it again? Because I'm not going to be able to do all your other roads. Because I want, I, cause Sandburn Road needs to be ground. You have to grind that road now because where the hill is, it's got some big dips in it. I'd potentially like to do it next year if I can afford it because um, it's not that bad. Um, and if I'm going to grind it, it's, I'm not going to shim and overlay it because it doesn't, that part of it doesn't justify shim and overlay. So to do that road, yes, I could, but then I'm neglecting all the other roads that people live on and pay taxes on and are riding in giant potholes. Oh, I mean, the same road, so it's a high traffic road. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have one more question. Trucks. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Um, is I saw on West Shore Drive one culvert replacement. Is that finalized? No, no and it's not, it's not the big, the big one. one. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, it's not the big one. Okay. No, no. no there's there's one in between there. There's a smaller one. So I think it's like a 15 inch culvert or something. Oh. It's a small one. Gotcha. Anybody got any other questions? So, the time, so all the equipment that is taken care of on the roads is you got your guys' equipment? Correct. Right. Besides like the signs, the cones, that's all the town. That's all the town. <laughs> right. Um, looking at when I went to go get sand, so all the equipment that's there belongs to who? Me. Okay. So from that aspect of it, is that because you got nowhere else to, to at my house. put it? No, I keep it at my house, but for winter I keep my equipment down there because it's easier to keep it there instead of my house. Okay. So all the maintenance that's done is done while at my house. At your house. Yep. Okay. All right. I was just wondering because I was like, well, we don't have any equipment with all that stuff doing that. Yeah. No, it's easier to drive my pickup down than drive that big plow trucks down there. We keep our loaders there for the winter. <clears throat> Anybody got anything else? I guess you guys are off the hot seat. Well, no, Joe, did you? I am. Yeah, I, I, oh, I'm sorry, Joe. You can run through your budget. Uh, well, you have, and you have, you have two big budgets coming up. Uh, the orchard to the zone. Yeah. Can you explain to us what you what you want to do? I mean, it's quite a bit of money, so. And right where I stopped paving the, uh, a year ago, well, two years ago, going to be a year ago. We're going to grind from there up over the hill, back down over the hill. Um, uh, I was going to do it anyway, but now with all the truck traffic and everything, 
Yeah. You're talking about down. Okay. Will you stop going up past the dump? Yeah. To go hill to the orchard? No, I'm going right down over the big hill, right right to Lakeside Drive, right past Lakeside, you. Lakeside, okay. Go right yeah. down there. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to grind that, and I'm going to uh, and get some serious drainage issues up top. And we got Dex that lives up top, and he's always getting water. Then I got that ditch right there, right in front, across from the orchard. So I think we're going to. When we looked at it last year, when I, when we when I was paving, I had the pavement company go down there, and they think if we grind it, they're almost thinking we could curb it going down through there and just take all. And you get minus the ditches now because the our biggest issue now. I mean, you go up over the hill by the dump, I mean, you got the ditch right there. You meet two dump trucks. I mean, you know, you, if you don't watch out, you're going in that ditch right there. So I'd like to eliminate that whole entire ditch, everything right down through there. Make it easier coming out of the dump. Maybe put in maybe a you small. You consider like widening. Oh yeah, no. Let's my, put my, another lane in there. And then. We're at the dump, yeah, sure. Yeah. Because uh, I mean, just talking to Bob over the years. I mean, there is times in the summertime, I and mean, we got we got quite a bit of traffic. Out oh my gosh, road. the line can just line up down yeah. the road. Well, and there's no, it's, nowhere. It's getting ridiculous so the the volume of traffic. There. <clears throat> uh, when you mentioned a curb, are you, you you're talking about a, a asphalt curb to take the water coming down the hill and kind of channeling it? Yeah, that's my plan. Or would you, if you took it and kind of convinced it to go well toward the cornfield and down that See, way? See, I don't, want, I don't want to do that you either know. because you know you take the water that comes off the orchard there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that just fires. Right there. I mean, because we plant our corn down there. I mean, we get sections in there. That it'll take the corn right out. I don't really. No, I know, I know, but it's going to speed up quite a bit going down that hill if you if it if it's channeling through an asphalt curb too. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we could dump it off like by the dump there, you know, because the because the dump's got the cover there. I think we could dump some water off in there, take it, you know, some gig and go. Yeah, but I mean, it comes. Oh yeah, when no, it, I mean, when yeah, it comes, look at it now. When it, it comes down, there. when you get a downpour, and I think it's coming out of that orchard, it's going right and left, and it's coming as a river. Oh, I, it's, I, it's I, I, I've, I've seen it, you know, firsthand. I, yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, it would be, when you channel it right down to that one culvert, just as you enter the dump, it seems. It's going to become a quite a quite a problem. Mm -hmm. The water. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to go back. I'm, when we get ready, to, I'm going to go back up there and take a little bit better look at. Do you it. think that's ledge? It's on the right there after best after the little spot where you're going for the cornfield. All ledge, all ledge. Yeah, I was going to say it's all it's all ledge. And How far down is it? Is it, is it much? Well, I did when my father ditched it up. When I when I ditched it two or three or well, three years ago, I mean, you get right to the top of the road. It's, yeah. Where the ditch is, like you know, where it comes out, it's right there. I mean, you know, I, I have when I ditched it, it did help, but you know, it's I just filled back in with sand and it's got all the rock in there. I mean, but I think going forward up the H road, I mean, I have a plan for the next, you know, two, two or three years because I mean, we got to do something with all the truck traffic. I mean, that's all the. It's all the complaints I heard during the moratorium. The road ain't wide enough, this and that. So. You're going to have people complaining all the time. <laughs> um, Adam, what's so on your big project? What, you want to explain to us what you're going to do? Uh, big project just paving roads, basically. I got, yeah. I got, I guess one's county for men. I want to get, keep pecking on it. grind it, but you well, want to grind it. You're going to have the money this year to grind it, so you can. I want to grind it and get as far as I can with the money I have. Yeah. I'd like to get to the bottom of the hill. Would you leave it on ground and let people wear it down, and or would you pay? I want to get the. I got. I didn't realize there was a couple more culverts in that road. Yeah. Until this winter, I found them driving over them. But you can find them now. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm finding them all now. Um, so I'm gonna have a couple more culverts that I didn't realize were there to do. Um, but I want to let it get beat down a little bit before I do pave it. So you're gonna do sandborn and then jump around on the smaller problems here and then, just kind of. I'm gonna peck away at my projects here. Yeah. No, he's not going to do Sanborn, Joe. Yeah, not going to do Sanborn no. this year, but... No. Do you think you have enough money in your budget? I have enough money to do what I have put forward, yes. Yeah. Hopefully. For the prices, we don't know. Until <laughs> we get a bid. I had a question. I see your total paving dollar amount here. But that's not inclusive of... Uh, the parking lot, 
we're tearing down the old fire station. Uh, Are we doing that, or is that? No, more? no, that's not part of that, right? That's the slotman uh, working with Will is going to come up with a plan for that. And originally, Will put it in because this was the plan. But the problem is the plan isn't set in granite yet. So this is just some preliminary information that Will had. Uh, and so until the slot may come up with an actual plan, um, which I assume we probably have for this coming year, but they haven't yeah. got there yet. Okay. Right. Two more things, guys. As I was sitting here thinking, say we should have adjourned this a while ago. <clears throat> the one is the... Uh, the increase rate you're asking for for loading down at the sand shed. Mm -hmm. I was it going for was it now a buck and a half? Two bucks. Two fifty. Two fifty, 250. 250 in, in at the workshop. You was asking one another dollar. Dollar, oh, correct. Yeah. That's Pretty good money per hour if you figure it out uh, for that loader. Um, the other thing is, there was discussion, and I know the slotmen haven't decided this yet. There was also talk about um, changing the cost of operations on fuel. Yeah. Changing the amount on that. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? What how that goes? I can't really. They were talking about. I think David would bring it up instead of a dollar, two dollars an hour. So the over person we over the past year, that, uh, every twenty-five cents it goes over. I think it's four thirty. Yes. Yeah. 30. Don't have to worry about that now. <laughs> so, don't have to worry about that now. It's over four thirty. Um, anything over 430 every 25 cents it goes up to get a dollar after an hour on their piece of equipment. So um, by looking at that and seeing what you're going to make, so I'll say if it's four dollars an hour and you're going to keep 25 cents an hour, you know, you make four dollars every dollar that fuel went up. So um, that doesn't really cover when it starts going uh, between five, six, and seven dollars a gallon. That's not going to cover your operation, you know. So uh, I suggested that we double that rate to two dollars every twenty-five cents. And that's for diesel fuel only, that's according to the sentence here for diesel yeah, fuel. Yeah, I, I believe that says just diesel fuel. I, I think it says fuel only. Yeah. It says equipment yeah. utilizing diesel. It really should be. Uh, this is diesel. Gas, diesel. Gas, really, yeah. We shouldn't be discriminating. Yeah, diesel's already a dollar more than gas as it is. You know? Yeah. yeah it it's five that. something now. Well, so you're, you're looking to change that over just to fuel, David? Just for fuel, um, we when I was road commissioner, I got the 430 a gallon once, and um, I didn't even put in because it was that one week. And it was all an hour more, more slap and face and anything. So we I didn't put in for it, but when we saw the fuel prices were up to five dollars a gallon in one week, then you know, like, and we happened to be having a workshop, I suggest I suggested that they make, might want to make a move. But the thing is, you, know, you, you can look at it and you can say, okay, well, if it's already at $5 a gallon, you figure it's going to be a 6 why don't you adjust your rates for that? Well, the problem is, is if you adjust your rates for what's happening right now, next year it might go back down to three fifty. So you screwed yourself. So you're kind of playing that game right now where, okay, yeah, let's let the surcharge work its thing. Next year, if it's way up there still, then we adjust to that. That's a more flexible way of yes. doing it. Yes. Yeah, we can go revert back to what we have now, but if you turn around and adjust the rates up, you never adjust the rates back. You're stuck with it. You stay up. So you, you said you were looking at $2 for every 25 cents increase. And again, I'm going to go back to the chainsaw. Um, knowing that um, your 10-wheeler, 
uses a certain amount of fuel, diesel, and I assume your skid steer is diesel, mm -hmm. uh, which obviously uses a lot less fuel. Uh, it goes back to what I was saying before. They should, what's that, Adam? I said my skid steer doesn't use that much less. Yeah. They I, like fuel. That uh, doesn't use that. Doesn't use. You need to pay sixty-five grand for that. Sixty-five thousand bucks for that. Well, we got this. We're talking about fuel. We're not fuel, talking about I bet, the cost. I bet in five hours I burn twenty gallons of fuel. Really? Mm. Yep. I think you ought to look at something different for a skid I, steer. It's about that, isn't it? It's about you can't even get a day out of that skid steer in a tank of fuel. Wow. Running it hard. We did the road road work. We had to fill our skid steers up twice that day. Yeah. You're running them full throttle, pushing them, you're working I'm them, they're chewing through fuel. I mean, my plow truck's seven to eight gallons an hour. I mean, you want to like really go with that. The that's going uphill or downhill? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, sure it does. with the wind. <laughs> sure downhill with the wind, I might get five. <laughs> oh, it sure it does. It makes a big difference. Yeah, you don't need an oil change or a oh, yeah, or something. Wow. But that's another conversation. Yeah, 12 hours, 50 gallons. And no, it goes back to what I'm saying, to have everything based on the same thing. Correct. Is some things you might not get much on but something else you get a lot more on. Mm -hmm. and to have everything under one thing it, it I understand what you're trying to say thank you you want to say it for me you would like to break down some of the hand tools to make it understand is what your thought not about. just that Adam but I mean honestly that's good to see it doesn't burn the same amount of fuel as your big dump truck there is no way. I mean, there's just no way. I don't believe it. Might not be the same, but she she likes fuel. <laughs> Didn't realize it until I owned it. I mean, I know a guy that's driving a 40-yard truck. And it's got a fuel thing on the truck. How much it's using per hour. And it goes from 3.1 to 4.2 gallons per hour. And I know that if you're out there plowing up Fox's Ridge and you've got that plowing wing on there, you're using maximum fuel. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, there's no doubt that that's a fact. That's how it works. But I also know coming down that same hill, you're not using magic fuel. No. And I guess that was my point. Yep. And can you, when we started these, this fuel allowance, when it was started originally, was back in the 70s when we had all that fuel shortage and the fuel went up, the big, the big cry was it's gonna get up to a dollar an hour. And the road commissioners at that time was getting three or four dollars for a plow truck. And the town, the board of selectmen at the time, put in this fuel clause so that, because when gas was going up, so with that Iran deal and all that, so it protected the road commissioners so they didn't have to um, change the rates and just gave the fuel allowance. And of course, back then, most stuff was gas. And back then, if you used a 754 with a plow on a wing, and if you were pushing it pretty hard, you could burn five gallons an hour. There's no doubt about it. But I would drive the same truck and burn three. And my father-in-law would drive it and burn five. Um, and that's why this was started, and I appreciate what you guys are talking about, and if it goes to two dollars, whatever it is, it is. I mean, um, but like I said, with the equipment, there's such a variable in there, and to have it all at one thing, uh, I don't think, from a accounting perspective, that that's the right way to do it. But with that, nobody's doing anything else. I'm taking a motion to adjourn.
Okay. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Mm. On discussion? Thank you guys very thank much. You thank much. you very much, guys, for putting up with me another year. What's that? I said thank you very much.